Matt, in your phone calls and travels, is there a recognition, a realization among all but, say, one guy in the West Wing about how, how bad this is agenda-wise? Yeah, look, there's an understanding that this is not going well. Uh, I think there was a little bit of happy talk yesterday, but uh, more like it could have been worse, which, yes, it could have been worse, but it was a train wreck for them. I mean, you have the FBI director all but accusing the president of obstruction of justice. And now the president's come out today and is accusing the former FBI director of lying under oath. Uh, none of this is advancing health care or taxes or any of this stuff. And it's going to become harder and harder for Republicans to stick with uh, President Trump. And just one more point on credibility. Trump is saying that Flynn conversation didn't happen. Almost no one else is saying that. Even congressional Republicans are saying, oh, it happened, but he didn't mean it the way it came out. That's not going to work as a coherent message if they're not even backing him up on what factually occurred. Uh, Shannon, coming off Lloyd Blankfein's uh, point on Infrastructure Week, what is the planned thrust when we're back at this on Monday? Uh, as far as what the agenda for the White yeah. House is, uh, you know, I think it's probably going to be up to what happens over the weekend. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't think the president's going to keep quiet over the weekend. Uh, he's away in Bedminster. Um, I'm sure they will try and get back to health care. They want to try and pass something on health care before July 4th. I think that's very ambitious. But any political capital that the president had to try and twist some arms or win some people over in the Senate to say, you know, come on, let's just get this done, he's— He's really, really spent that, and he doesn't have much leverage there. So if the Senate's going to get something done on health care, it's going to be in spite of the White House. Yeah. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.